What type of women do I like? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I fuck with the white hoes because they like to turn up. <laughs> What's good, you guys? It's your girl Paloma, back again for The Frank Show. This week I'm reporting live from my hometown of LA. This week we're talking pranks, push, sports, but first let's catch up with GBE's SD and honorary member Tosh. So tell me about Glory Boys. Shit, it's a movement. Movement? Yeah, it's a big ass movement. Yeah. Why people love uh, GBE? To me, it seems like we brought a whole new meaning to life, show them a whole different side of life. So, how do you like LA? LA, yeah, this shit lovely. I ain't at the beach yet, but I've been there where else? And the bitch is crazy. Could you give message for bad bitches, bad boys, all the young people? See, life what you make it. Like what you make. We gonna smoke weed, listen hip hop music, making money. Turn up. Turn up. Squat, squat, squat shit. Out here in LA, Frank Homies Eli Reed and Janae Lombardo got very candid about some horny pranks. So, in honor of April Fools, I thought that we would talk about some pranks. I personally tell my parents I'm pregnant every year. 13 years old, I'm pregnant. It wasn't funny. You ever heard of an upper decker? No, what's an upper decker? You go into somebody's house and use the bathroom and take a shit and the, <laughs> the top and it'll stay up there for like a month. Where do you put it? Like that kind of container that just opens on top of the... You um, stick it there? No, <laughs> take a shit in that. It's called <laughs> upper decker. Then you close it. Then mm -hmm. when the water that comes in, it's always brown. And people say, what the fuck? Find You've never done that? Threw a bunch of cheese on my friend's face <laughs> when he went to bed once. Have you ever Hitlered someone? Is that like a sexual thing? It, well, it depends on your fetish. But in eighth grade, a South Park episode came out where Butters fell asleep too early, and so Cartman stuck his finger up his butt and then yes. gave him the Hitler. I mean, I've been known to teabag a few times. <laughs> right, Jen? <Jack? laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been teabagged. Out in New York, we chopped it up with Bodega Bams and Willie Hex. You no longer smoke weed, right? I don't. How long have you been off that? Well, I was a pothead when I was in my teens, and I occasionally I would smoke, but I haven't smoked probably like a good two years. Do you that, smoke? Uh, yeah, he get dead hot. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Um, well, when you were smoking, what was like your preference? Like blunts, joints? Nah, pipes? never joints, never joints. Phillies, Dutches. Okay. The strand was purple haze. The four was purple haze. It was pude. Best shit I ever had. Cherry pie. See, I don't know about all the strand. Like, I just like to smoke like good, stinky, sticky weed. What famous head or rap head do you know? Would you say can handle their weed the or can smoke the most? I think uh, there's a few like. Smoke Dizza smokes a lot of fucking weed. I would hope so with that name. Flapper Zombies, Meech and Juice, they smoke a lot of weed. Action smokes a lot of weed. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would love to see a motherfucker smoke a bomb between those two, those four motherfuckers, man. Someone would probably die. That whack shit, man, that bong rips, that shit is just crazy. Oh. I just smoke cigarettes. Growing up, wherever I got arrested and shit, that's how I had to get on probation. So that was another reason why I couldn't smoke weed. So I picked up the cigarette shit. I see. And they just stuck around. Do you most. drink? Drink a lot. Obviously, you hang out with people who smoke, and if you're with a lady that smokes, like you wouldn't care, right? Like, nah, I think that's very, you, I think that's very exotic. You know what I'm saying, I think that's very beautiful. I just don't like. I don't know if, if she get high, she really into me, or she just high. When I was on tour, like the weed, that's all they wanted to do was smoke weed. They don't want no right. dick. Yeah. They don't want no sex, man. They just want to get high, man. Back in New York, let's watch our girl Tam Tam get very real about some of her dislikes. I fucking hate this new thing that bitches are doing where instead of being like, yes, honey, they're like, yes. I love Dipset, but I like hate how many white people like love Dipset. White NYU girls, just because you went to Harlem for the first time last year to like check out an apartment. Listen, you're really not about their life. Like you're not, you're not Killa Juju. You're not into neon fishnet. You're not about being at the club at 4 a.m. with your man, like drinking from bottles with a cape on, going like, like you're not about it, so stop. I hate white guys that think mixed bitches want to get down with them. All these dudes on Instagram that are like posting photos of some like 
badass light skinned girl with like a huge fat ass and like green eyes and freckles. Like, yo, Ma, what up, Ma? Like, okay, none of these bitches are ever gonna fuck with you. White guys that are like, yo, dips up. That's not what they want. Like, they don't want you. I hate magazines that have like <laughs> lists every day, like top five Jordans worn by wiggers top 10 illest shoelaces to beat it with if you're into auto erotic asphyxiation. I strongly dislike the Kim and Kanye Vogue cover. I hate people that hate on that Kim and Kanye cover more than I hate that cover. I hate people that take iPad selfies. How dumb do you look? I hate bitches that come for me when I don't send for them. What's that about? Unless you got an invitation in the mail, you open up the mail and it's like, oh wow, like Tabitha sent for me, then don't come for me. Cause I'm gonna come a lot harder pause. Now here's a sneak peek from our upcoming 420 chapter with Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke director, Lou Adler, and his son, Cisco. What's up, everyone? Uh, clapping over here with uh, my dad, uh, Lou Adler. We're in Malibu, California. And it's definitely not every day you get to interview your father hey, about smoke. marijuana. Uh, how you doing? Pretty yes, good. I just want to check on immunity before. <laughs> We're talking about um, marijuana culture. You directed Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, right? Uh, which I think definitely added to marijuana culture as we know it. I met Cheech and Chong in 1971. And at, that was the Troubadour show? At the Troubadour, not a show, but a hoot nanny. It was Monday night. <laughs> what's, a, what's a hoot nanny? A hoot nanny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap for this week, but don't forget to tune in every Monday for The Frank Show. And have a safe April Fool's Day, and don't forget to tell your parents you're pregnant and smoking PCP. 